Mark Twain called these islands the most beautiful anchored in any sea. And it's no wonder. The eight main islands of Hawaii offer an array of unimaginable natural treasures. These small specks of land in the center of the Pacific represent 13 different temperature and ecologic zones. From lush jungles to barren deserts to tropical beaches. These islands are filled with natural wonders that flower, fall, and flow. But maybe none of Hawaii's marvels are as exciting as the ones that explode. The ancient people of Hawaii saw these volcanoes as more than a geologic catastrophe. It was an expression of the gods, and they gave this explosive force a name, Pele, goddess of the volcano. In Hawaiian thought, nature is filled with uh, conscious animated um, beings so for example if you stand at the sea and you're watching the lava flows enter the sea you're watching Pele in action Pele or as modern scientists would say Hawaiian volcanoes began forming these islands over five million years ago The heart of the activity lies 60 miles beneath the surface of the Earth, where molten magma gushes upward from the planet's core. Geologists call this location the hotspot. As the lava around the hotspot cools, it begins to build up, and eventually an island is formed. And one hotspot can create more than one island. In fact, both Kauai and Oahu were created by the same one. They all start at the same place, where the Big Island is today, and then they gradually move away from that spot because of plate tectonics carrying the islands off on the plate. Perhaps even more amazing is that the explosive process that began five million years ago and created Hawaii is still going on today. Throughout the islands, there are currently two active volcanoes. But Hawaii's Big Island is still the most dynamic hotspot. The reason is Mount Kilauea, whose outpouring of lava hasn't stopped for the last 20 years, making it the longest continuous eruption in recorded history and one of the most active volcanic environments on the entire planet. Kilauea produces as much as 130,000 gallons of lava every minute. At that rate, it could cover all of Washington, D.C.'s 63 square miles in just five days. What's more incredible is that at the very edge of the Kilauea lava flow, where the living volcano meets the sea, you can actually witness the big island getting bigger. It's built hundreds and hundreds of acres of land onto the big island over the last 20 years by the eruption of the volcano itself. This fresh piece of the planet is called a lava bench. It's created when the superheated lava hits the cooling ocean. A massive chemical reaction occurs and causes the lava to break down into a glass-like sand. This sand builds up as layers of lava roll over it and eventually it breaks through sea level inch by inch, foot by foot, as the lava bench grows, the island expands. While volcanoes create, they also destroy, sometimes swallowing whole villages with their outpouring. So scientists are constantly attempting to predict future eruptions. At the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory at the rim of Kilauea, they have developed methods to carefully monitor activity. We have 65 seismometers and many other instruments around in the volcano that read the heartbeat of the volcano for us. 
Researchers wait for the pulses on the monitors to quicken, indicating small movements in the Earth, a consistent sign of approaching geological developments. We'll see increased earthquake activity. We'll see the ground start to uh, change shape, start to swell or collapse or something. And the pulse quickens just like uh, if you're having uh, an exciting moment. With hot molten lava issuing from the core of the Earth, you might think that Kilauea is off limits to everyone but the most hardy scientist. But the volcano is one of the easiest places on the island to visit. You can literally walk right up to the flowing lava. And the current eruption right now, where it's flowing, is right near the road. The biggest secret is probably that they're fairly safe. Maybe people think of volcanoes as things like Mount St. Helens, where there's a huge explosion. The Hawaiian volcanoes are fairly user-friendly. And two million visitors come here every year to take in the sights along the 11-mile Crater Rim Drive. Great. I it's unreal. It's great. Perfect. I didn't think we'd get to look down inside this one. I didn't either. I thought we wouldn't be even get this close. <laughs> Never saw anything like this before, except maybe in a science fiction movie. <laughs> one important fact to know, however, is that the trek is not for the heat-sensitive traveler. The lava is about a little over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's hard to imagine in terms of just saying the word 2000 but believe me when you walk up to that thing it's it's hotter than anything that you've ever felt before i mean literally you can singe the hair on your arms if you get too close and if you're planning a trip here always remember to stay at least a quarter mile away from the intersection of sea and earth the new land is highly unstable and possibly deadly the sand can collapse and take with it the entire bench and certainly if you're on the bench you will suddenly be dumped into very hot ocean water because the lava is still actively flowing into it. Another warning. Visitors may be tempted to take a souvenir home from these sacred grounds, but there's one more thing to be mindful of. The volcano goddess Pele, who is said to make her principal home inside of Mount Kilauea. Legend has it that when you remove bits and pieces from the area, Pele inflicts a curse on you until you return what is rightfully hers. So if you follow the native rules and watch your step, you can experience one of Hawaii's wonders at its best. Coming up, the wonders of the Hawaiian Ocean from top to bottom.